Let's take a minute to talk about native tape support for Veeam's availability suite. LTO tapes have been around for a while, and they probably will be for some time in the future. Whether it's data that's archived in an old location or an Iron Mountain type facility that we pull tapes back from to ingest them into our system. The native tape support that we have allows us to better deal with those tapes and the functions that we may have for them going forward. Now today in the demo, I want to show you three great functions. One, how to create a media vault and how simply we can do that. Two, how to set up GFS media pools. And then finally, how to set up parallel processing so we can send multiple streams to different tape heads. So let's walk over to the demo lab and I'll walk you through each one of these now. Okay, we've made it into the demo lab and I have Veeam Backup and Replication open in front of us. I've gone down to the Tape Infrastructure section and I'm just going to go across the top and click on Tape Infrastructure. Now, the first thing we want to talk about is creating a media vault. The icon up top, we're just going to click it and we're going to call this Demo Vault 2. And then we'll click Next and then we'll click Finish. And that's how quickly we can create a vault. Just like that, we're done. Okay, the next thing we want to talk about is creating a GFS media pool. So we're going to right mouse click on the media pools and go down to add GFS media pool and click standard. We're just going to leave this named at pool one and we'll do next. Now we're going to jump in here and add just for the sake of the demo. We're just going to pick a tape and we'll tell it OK. And then we'll do next. Boom, right in the grandfather, father, son choices. Here's where we can pick the days, weeks, months, quarters, years, just as you would for any grandfather, son pattern. Okay, and I'll cancel out of this. And then finally, how to enable parallel processing. So let's add a media pool. We'll call it just media pool one is fine. We'll do next. And then let's go in here and we'll add a tape. And again, it doesn't truly matter. We'll just add one for the demo sake. Do next. So choices, we'll leave these at default. Do next. Again, here's whether or not we do not protect the data, protection data, never overwrite this data. Next. Here's the checkbox to enable parallel processing. If we tick this box, then we can do the number of tape drives to simultaneously stream this to. That's just how simple it is to enable parallel processing. So we've gone over creating the media vaults, how to create a GFS media pool, and finally how to enable parallel processing. Nice, slick, and quick. I hope you've enjoyed this demo. I've certainly enjoyed doing it for you. We'll see you in the next one.